Greetings and welcome to the 16th episode of Moral and Malting Showcases. I'm your host, Elf Guy, and we have another 13 mods for your viewing pleasure this week. This episode is going to be a little Solstein themed, with nearly every mod here being based on the island of Solstein. And as always, you can find the download links for these mods down in the description below. And why don't we go ahead and get started with our popular mod of the week, which this week is Solstein Castle by Karana. This mod adds a new island northeast of Solstein that's dominated by a massive castle and a pleasant seaside village. As you can see, the village itself is fairly large and is incomparable in size to the scale village on mainland Solstein. Inside the courtyard, you'll find a number of additional dwellings, as well as the castle proper, as you can see here. There's even a nice little winter garden out back. including fountains and little snow rabbits, as you can see here. You also find a small stables with a variety of farm critters lurking about. There's also a lot of interesting places to visit in town. Like this pirate themed tavern here. Which even has a singing fish. You can also make bets on bar fights if you really want to. Here's one of those bar fights now. Of course, there's also plenty of general services. Like this trader here. So you'll have plenty to do for your shopping needs. Before you can claim this castle as your own, you'll need to go on a small quest to solve the mystery of a nearby tomb. This naturally means traveling out into the wilderness. and exploring a dank, dark dungeon. Once you complete the quest, you'll become the official owner of Solstein Castle. along with its huge staff, including a number of musicians that play on request. There's also a beautiful banquet hall, as you can see here. Your staff can also assist you with a number of other things and services, and they work on time shifts. So you always see a different uh, staff member at different times of day.
Amongst the chambers of the castle, you'll find a cosy library. Perfect for relaxing with a good book in front of the fire. There's also a large hall of mannequins, which you can use to display clothing and armor. And there's a regular display hall for showing off everything else. Of course, you also find a bedroom here, which includes a private study. As well as a dancer for some reason. Amongst the many chambers of the castle, you also find a large magic lamp for your mage-like research. Including staff that can help you sort ingredients. You can find all of this and much, much more at Solstein Castle. This week's house mod of the week is Solstein Winter Home for Blood Moon by Packrat Pat. This mod adds a lovely little winter villa out in the wilderness of Solstein. Inside is a lovely home. We have a living room with a roaring fire. And a quaint little cottage bedroom. There's also plenty of display room. As well as a nice alchemy lab. And of course there's lots of storage. There's even some guest quarters for when you have company. And naturally, no house is complete without a lovely kitchen and dining room. For our gameplay mod of the week, we have Galith, Descendants of the Former, by K.W. Shipman. The Galith are a new player race, based on the former of Solstein, with a specialty in illusion, marksmanship, and destruction. As well as resistance to frost, a magicka bonus, and weakness to fire, they have a number of special racial abilities. You can see one of the Galith characters here. Including some nice headwear. And here you can see a bit more of the customization options for the race.
And here's a Galith female character with some colorful hair choices. This week's Town Model of the Week is Frostmoth by Marcus H. This mod gives Fort Frostmoth a bit of a surrounding town to it. With some close quartered streets and a few street vendors offering a variety of wares. There's also a number of new shops to visit, like this trade house here. The streets themselves are generally cluttered and well populated. including a number of NPCs with some unique dialogue, like this beggar here. You also find plenty of curious interiors to investigate, like this cluttered house. Overall, this mod gives Fort Frostmoth a bit more to look forward to, and the frozen wasteland of Solstein. For our items one of the week this week, we're taking a look at Were King by Christian Ian. With this mod you'll find a new story set on Solstein, conveniently found at Fort Frostmoth, that tells the tale of a man known only as the Were King. Using the book for directions, you may stumble upon this Were King for yourself out in the wilderness. But he's a powerful opponent, and won't go down easily. Should you defeat him, you'll get his rather fearsome Were King armor for yourself. So you can fight as ferociously as a wolf, and look the part. Next up is our quest mod of the week. And this week we have Dejepscord, The Hidden Halves, by Polycrates. This mod adds a series of ice caverns to the game. At the end of which is a massive and ancient Nordic Hall. Inside you'll find a curious race of undead Nords. We have quite a bit of unique dialogue. And who also give you a series of quests to one day become their chieftain. These halls include a atmospheric kitchen and dining chamber. as well as some cluttered quarters for these undead warriors. These quests to become chieftain will involve slaying some particularly nasty undead opponents.
as well as exploring ancient tombs. You also get to go on hunting expeditions with a undead master of the spear and his faithful hound. These will involve some midnight hunts across Solstein's winter landscapes. as well as dealing with Rickling Raiders. Once you become Chieftain, you'll have access to an Alchemy Lab. Complete with an Ingredient Sorter. And you also get a bedroom, colorfully decorated with skulls. For our landmass model of the week this week, we have Inner the Whispering Woods by Granarinth. The end of the Whispering Woods adds a large new landmass just east of Solstein. Complete with scenic woodlands and coastal cliffs. There's a boat service here as well. And there's a number of roads which all lead up to the main attraction, the Inn of the Whispering Woods. A new tavern for weary travellers. As you travel over this majestic landscape, you always find Mount Sinker hovering in the background, a dominating figure with an air of mystery about it. Inside the inn itself, you'll find a host of interesting characters taking refuge from the cold. And many of these characters have a number of unique dialogue topics as well. The tavern is a welcoming place for booze to purchase, many of which is unique. And the interior is quite warmly decorated as well. There are naturally a number of quests here involving figuring out the secrets of the island. On these quests, you'll have to fight your way through numerous ice caverns. Like these here. The 
But these are not just hack and slash dungeons. These ultimately involve figuring out a number of puzzles. That require a bit of wit to figure out. This week's NPC model of the week is Golems by Neoptolemus. This mod adds new golem creatures to the leveled lists of both Morrowind and Source Time. As you can see here. These golems can often be found in environments natural to them. And they have a number of magical based attacks. These golems will naturally try to blend into their surroundings, like this mud golem here. And should you be able to kill one, they often carry a variety of alchemical ingredients. They vary in height as well, such as this tall ash golem here. And they can be found in caverns, like this glass golem. For our new meshes and textures mod of the week, we have Lazy's Grand Soul Slime by Lazy Ghost. This mod replaces many of the textures on Soul Slime with higher resolution ones, particularly for Scale Village. Here you can see a few more of the house textures that have been replaced. This mod also replaces the textures for all Raven Rock buildings, giving them a more detailed appearance. As you can see here. There's also some new landscape textures as well, making the snowy land of Solstein feel colder than ever. Next up is our Modus Resource Mod of the Week, and this week we have Gypsy Caravan Resource by Kiteflyer61. This Modus Resource is a collection of widely different colored caravans, and various assets used with them. And you can utilize these in your own mods.
There's also a new interior set that you can use with each caravan. These interior sets are done in a number of different textures, so you can use the one you like the best. Here you can see the full variety of different caravan pieces available. And as you can see, there's quite a few colors to choose from. There's also a number of different doors and drawers, as well as cabinets to choose from for your interiors. This week's underrated model of the week is Castle Hivikolt by Cyclex, the architect. This mod adds a new castle to the snowy peaks of Hivikolt, as you can see here. As soon as you walk in through the front door though, you'll be greeted by a friendly tribe of Recklings. Who of you can impress them with your feet? We'll give you the castle and make you their king. You'll find there a strange batch, and apparently like to collect skulls as well. There's a wide array of rooms here, including personal quarters for the Recklings. There's also a bar here to warm you and your fellow companions from the bitter Solstein cold. And naturally, there's a banquet hall, great for serving all those recklings with. You'll find there's also a decent amount of storage and display space here. And if you need to sell or buy a few things, there's a complete service hall with alchemists, general merchants, and much more. As you can see here, There's even a few trainers you can use to level up a number of skills. You'll find all this and much more at this mountaintop castle. For a blast from the past model of the week, we have Telus Rin Graveyard by Dalen. With this mod, you'll find a new graveyard 
bordering the outskirts of Scale Village. And as you can see here, And there's a new quest to be found, involving the investigation of recent undead activity at the graveyard. And you can also see Solstein Castle there in the distance. This quest will of course involve exploring the catacombs beneath the surface of the graveyard. These catacombs, far from being filled with undead, merely have corpses lining their walls. At least at first anyway. As you go deep into the catacombs, you'll find more and more opponents. Not to mention more burial chambers. You'll also encounter more than a few traps with undead attackers. This is a fairly large dungeon complex, and of course there's secrets to uncover and quests to complete, and this blast from the past. Finally, for our bonus model of the week, we have JMK's Solstein Lighthouse. This mod, much as the name implies, adds a lighthouse to Solstein, right near Fort Frostmoth. Inside is a cosy interior manned by a single lighthouse keeper who has a bit of a unique dialogue. And also has plenty of things to sell. On the second floor is a bedroom, with some storage that you can use during your stay at Fort Frostmoth. That's it for this week, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and as always you can find the download links for each mod down in the description below. Thanks for watching, and be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you all next week with another 13 mods for your viewing pleasure.